Will the energy crisis affect the value of property? That's a question that I'm being asked again and again. And in short, I believe that it will, yes. It won't be across the board. It will be dependent on the energy performance of the properties with larger, older, less energy efficient properties falling out of favor first as the full effects of the energy crisis begins to dawn on people when those bills start to drop onto their doormat and the figures that have been banded around in the media turn into pounds and pence that you need to pay out each month. Therefore, I do believe that the less energy efficient properties will increasingly struggle to find buyers as the costs are rocketing so much. In many cases, the energy costs will be greater than the mortgage payments. That's unprecedented. That doesn't mean, as I said, that this will affect apply across the board. Smaller, more energy efficient properties, depending where it is, there are pockets where there are more or will be more demand than others, they will cope very well. In fact, there will be increasing demand for these properties. This will also affect rental properties. At the moment, it may not be uh, putting renters off because there's such a shortage of properties to rent, but as the market settles down and those begin bills begin to come through the letterbox, then tenants will increasingly begin to look at their energy costs, look at the EPC performance of the property they are in, and if it is poor, they will invariably begin to look for more energy, energy efficient properties to rent. As you're aware, the government has introduced legislation that all rental properties need to be a minimum EPCC from 2025, which is not that long away. And even if you have tenants in place, then you still have to have a minimum of an EPCC by 2028. But that's no reason to neglect improving your property because even though you may have tenants in place, Maybe those tenants have been there for a long time. Maybe you are happy with them and they are happy where they live. But when their monthly bills more than triple or more, they will begin to look at their monthly cost on energy and the energy performance of the property they're renting. And if the energy performance is poor, then they will invariably have no option but to look for more energy efficient properties to rent. A property that's uh, has a, a performance rating of, of E or F, costs well over twice as much to keep warm as one that is uh, grade C. So that is a significant difference. Therefore, if you do have rental properties, improving the energy performance of those properties is imperative. And the sooner you get it done, the better. As for the sell properties on the sales market, as I said, we've already seen uh, an increase in gazundering throughout the country. Solicitors are reporting that as many as half their sales are facing gazundering, which is dropping the price at the last minute, um, even up to the day of exchange, leaving the seller with no option but to lose their sale, lose their onward property, lose everything they spent or accept a lower offer. That's an indication of how things are going. We're not at crisis point yet with the property market. Who knows how it will go? There is a lot of demand out there. And after all, there are not many properties on the market. So how it will go over the next few months, who knows? One thing is for certain that with energy costs set to rise so much and interest rates due to rise this coming month and again and again in the new year, who knows where this will end? I'll see you in the next video. Bye.